kitchen has gone in this week. Um, so yeah, all the units and the worktops, still waiting for the extractor fans. Some of the appliances have gone in. Um, we've had a couple of surprises turning up this week because the client whose property this is has taken on a few jobs of them themselves. They wanted to take a few, um, you know, to do a few bits. So we've come in and there's two ovens where there shouldn't be two ovens, there should just be one, which obviously, I don't know what's going on here, but this can't stay because it's dangerous. Someone my height, obviously this would be dangerous because I can't reach this one and this one I could bring the hot stuff down onto my chest. So um, I'm going to have to sort this out. Um, obviously last week everything was plastered, so this week everything's been brought through. So the other surprise is, Whilst we weren't here, um, our client wanted to upgrade the um, lighting in this property. So he came to site to meet the electrician and he put the spotlights in and chose the positions in the bedrooms. Now, obviously I wasn't involved in that because we weren't here, I didn't even know they were coming here, but the positions that they put them in are not great. I mean, I'll show you what I mean, but if you come through to this one. So they're not centralised. Um, and I'm not quite sure why there's two here. The only thing I can think is obviously because the wardrobe comes here, they don't want to put it over the wardrobe. But they're so close to here, this is going to have the curtains, that the curtain's going to disrupt the light that comes down. Um, again, that one's so close to that side that there's going to be no light in this kind of area, because obviously down lighters put, as they sound, put the light down and they don't spread out very much. So obviously if you have a pendant light, it spreads the light across the room. Down lighters, you have to be a lot more careful with where you place them and they have to be centralised, otherwise you get shadow spots. So I'm gonna to have to go back to the client and ask why they've been put in this position, say my concerns and ask him what he wants to do. If he says he's paid for them to be in this position so they have to do, then fine. If he wants to pay the electrician to reposition them, then we're gonna to have to, that's an extra cost. Obviously the, the plastering's already been done, so I'm not quite sure what he's gonna to want to do there. So. Yeah, a little bit frustrating. Um, so, yeah, I think <laughs> what can you do? So, um, but yeah, we'll do the tour of the other of the rest of the place. Uh, obviously, the, I think the plaster has been drying this week, so um, there's various things that happened, but not loads to update really. Yeah, if you see in this room, the lights where the curtains are are even worse in this room um, because the curtains probably, they probably come out to about here, so they're, they're really going to interfere with, with the positions of those lights. And you see there's a really big space in the middle of the room that is going to have no light coming down, so yeah. Um, so the banister is in, so that's... That's something that's happened this week. That looks really nice. That's it. My positions in here are probably the best of all the bedrooms because they're fairly centralised, um, although there's no lighting over this side of the room. So um, this is where the bed is going to be. So that's my, that's what I think they've probably done is placed it around the bed. Um, so yeah, this is the, the best one really. I'll show you the other rooms. So this one's quite bad in that, so this is where the desk will go, so you've got lighting on the desk which is nice, but um, it doesn't allow for tenants to move furniture around, which they often quite like to do, obviously we set it up and you have to set up the, the infrastructure in a way that you've designed it, because that's the best way that you put the stuff into the room, but if tenants want to move things around, it doesn't, by having things in set positions, it doesn't allow that to happen as freely um, so yeah obviously here again like the front bedroom downstairs these are so close they're going to be really interfered with the with the curtain interfering with the curtains so the curtains are going to really block out a lot of that light so yeah I think I have to have a word um, lighting in the hallway is fine uh, but that's all from my design anyway, and um, what we normally do. And in here, again, you've sort of got central positions here, and a bit more central on this side, so that's, 
that's better. This one might not be too bad. Yeah, we've certainly got a couple of ones that are going to be a bit problematic. So yeah, so that's the update from Stretchy Court this week. Um, as I said, because we've been waiting for plaster to dry, that's been a lot of the stuff that's happening. Obviously, the electric's coming down, uh, the kitchen's gone in, and the vanity's gone in. So, um, yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye.